everyone, this is Crystal with Brian and Crystal's Reviews, and today's mail call is from Dolls Kill. And I have a love-hate relationship with Dolls Kill because they always send everything in a poly mailer. And by that, I mean things that will break, crush, um, get scratched. Um, I can guarantee you, I have, it's going to be like an 80% chance this belt buckle is going to be all scuffed up because it's in a poly mailer. And then I also had a pin, so I'm surprised it didn't stab my mail lady. But anyway, it's from Dolls Kill. It is a tough poly mailer, though. <laughs> now you offer your knife, mister. It's okay, I got it open. So here's our little packing slip. Um, what I ordered was... A sponge, a SpongeBob SquarePants enamel pin, which is this one. And of course, get a little closer. That's really cute. It's just SpongeBob just kind of doing that number. And wow, I'm shocked. It is not scratched up. But it's from Creedsville 666. Actually, Creedsville 666 is one of the vendors that I use. But I didn't want to have to buy a whole wholesale order just to get a belt. So I went ahead and ordered it from Doll Skill. Plus, they owed me like 36 bucks. So I went ahead and zeroed out my credit memo. But anyway, um, it's a cute little bat skirt. And I believe these retail for like $25. Creepstool 666 is a really cool company. They're a little bit like Sour Pest. And they sell a lot of like goth and um, stuff like, licensed stuff like from Elvira and just really cool, just really cool stuff. So here's the belt and it opens up this way and then you just put it around your waist. Hopefully I got the right size. Something tells me I didn't. Ugh, I should have gone the bigger size. This is too small. I should have gotten the extra, extra large because I'm not a small girl. So, anyway, that's how you wear it. Ugh, can't breathe. Ryan, quit feeding me cake and tacos. So, anyway, it just connects this way. The other one is actually, um, this is a package I got from Canada. Um, I bought a dress in one of the BST groups from, one of the BST groups from Facebook. And I think the other part is a trade. The box arrived damaged, by the way. I noticed that right now. So hopefully everything is in there. It'll be really sad. This stuff isn't, didn't come out. I mean, didn't make it. Ow, fudge, I just stabbed myself. Oh goodness. Oh well, the show must go on. <laughs> Knives are dangerous, folks. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> and she sent me a really cute greeting card. Hopefully I don't bleed to death, Ryan. <laughs> okay, and then she sent me a little care package, which is really cute. Um, her shop is called My Son Moonchild. I, I hope I said that right, My Son. She's got a Etsy shop. You can also find her on Facebook under the same name. She makes her own pins, brooches, you know, all kinds of really neat stuff. So she's a really cool chick that you need to check out. Wow, she sent a lot of stuff. Woo! -hoo! Lucky me. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's so cute. It's like her logo. So it's a cute little brooch. And the next thing. Oh, the little matador. She sent me this. That matches a skirt I bought from her. Um, I want to say like in the spring. So that's really neat. And some little owls. That's me and Ryan. Little owls. And then she sent these. These are the type. Oh my goodness. Is that a, oh, it's a werewolf. She knows I love the werewolf. So she makes these kind of earrings and brooches and stuff. So it's really neat. And she makes everything herself. And um, she's a really good, 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 good artist. I like her. I like her stuff. And then here is a little pendant <clears throat> with a black cat, which is really neat. This is another one of the items that she makes. Um, 
fortune teller fish. That is really neat. So it's just a little extra goodie she put in there. Her business card. And then her details are back here in case you're curious. And she sent these really cute little earrings that are like pumpkins for Halloween. And the little lollipops. So you can wear them as mates or you can mismatch them. They'll still look cute because it's Halloween candy. Halloween candy, like, who doesn't like Halloween candy? I love any kind of candy except candy corn and licorice. Oh, and then look at these. They're like these little drinks. So these are really cute. <clears throat> All righty, so now we will get on to the other thing. Okay, so the dress is from Vixen Micheline Pitt, and this one is called a Troublemaker Dress. And the leopard print, it's been retired, and I know I like it. So, it's just a really cute dress. It's figure flattering. <clears throat> I like that it's got a lot of stretch to it. And it's not a really hot material considering I live in Texas and it gets really, really, really hot here where sometimes it makes you think of salvation. That's how hot it gets here. But it's got a full swing skirt where you can wear crinoline underneath it. Um, but if you want, you can always Google image the, uh, it's called Vixen by Micheline Pitt Troublemaker Dress. So you can get an idea of how it looks on the body. It's really pretty. And it comes with the belt. That's the belt that came with the dress. <clears throat> and this one was, oh, and she also sent a bracelet. Must have fallen out of the bag. And then this one was part of a trade. I traded her a Barbie skirt for this because I love any kind of animal. And this one has the cutest little animal print on it. If you look closely, it's like a little, like little hipster deer. And this dress is made by Hell Bunny, which is so cute. It's like, oh my God, I love it. It's just amazing. And Hell Bunny runs a little small, so you always have to go up a size. I wear an extra 2X on their stuff. Other places, I'll wear an extra large or 1X. So anyway, so that was today's unboxing. Um, I got quite a few things. I was a little jealous this morning, I won't lie, because Ryan got a bunch of packages this morning from BattleBox. And what was the other one? My Patriot Supply? Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm like, darn, I didn't get anything. And then I got my text message from USPS saying that my package was out for delivery. So I got really happy. I totally forgot about the doll's kill. So this was like an extra bonus. Like, yay, I got two packages.